Hey, what's up guys? Um, this is just like a quick little video since I have this thing opened up. But basically the idea here is that I'm trying to create a poor man's ball head. So what we have here, this is the an Amazon Basics tripod. It's super inexpensive, I believe. Uh, I'll have the link for you guys, but it's it's like under 50 bucks and it includes this ball head. But this ball head is not good for, um, for video. It's meant for still photography. And the type of uh, tripod system that we used here, use in Org Media, is the WeFang or eFancier 717AH series. And you can buy the heads like on Amazon or eBay for like 80 bucks. And it's nice, they're fluid heads. Um, and you can actually, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the actual fluid in there and there's a spring in here. It's, they do some really nice moves. But, um, to buy like the whole set with the ball head, or the bowl, um, is I think somewhere around 200 bucks. And these guys are under 50, and if you can get this for like 80, then it's sort of this nice travel, portable, small leg set. I can bring to the beach and I don't feel so bad if I sort of get these sandy. Whereas the other ones, they're big, bulky, a lot heavier. This thing is really light. And just sort of as an experiment, at first I took their quick release system and uh, their quick release plate and I tried to put one of these um, quarter 20 to three quarter adapters and it sort of works, but it was getting kind of loose. So I was trying to drill a hole and put in one of these uh, larger screws. That's the standard screw for um, for like tripods and stuff. I believe it's three eighths. And so I was trying to drill a hole through here to get this three eighths through there. I ended up um, breaking the quick release plate because it just broke in the vise. So I'm just sort of setting this idea down. And then um, on the Amazon Basics tripod, it had this bolt through here. So we loosened it with an Allen wrench. And then I sort of had the idea of like, okay, if we can remove this, what if we take the bottom off of the Wee Fang head, which we've done here. And then we now, instead of Rebolting this quick release, we're bolting the bottom of this head onto here. And it should work. This thing is on there pretty solid. And now, if you loosen this, you know, you can get that action. So, what we'll do is we'll cut here and then come back once this is all kind of reassembled together. But I just wanted to get this video now because I don't want to assemble it and just have to explain before we reassemble. All right, we'll see you in a second. Thanks. So we're just tightening the last one on there. And if you're just a little bit off to the side, it makes it a little bit easier to, to tighten. And that's pretty much it. We'll just do a little bit more final tightening. All right, so we were able to get it all put back together. One thing that we're finding though is that if we if this thing is, if, if this is locked down and we pan to the left, it wants to loosen the bolt. So what we're thinking is um, before putting it back on, if you do this, maybe put like a rubber washer on both sides, like uh, on this side as well as on the inside in order to kind of build up that friction and have that like a little bit more of a grip. Uh, so I think we'll do that It's later. But so far it's kind of working pretty good. I've extended one of the legs here to kind of simulate um, an uneven ground. So then all you do is just loosen the, the head here and you can just level out using the ball or if you're, you know, if you're on your camera it has like a level on there you can use that. Well, let's say you just use the bubble level right there, lock it down, and now we should be, this, this plane is actually level, 
and then from there we should be all good. So this is the poor man's um, ball head for you know your video tripods. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, definitely hit me up in the comments on YouTube. And I don't know, it's okay. It's not super awesome, but maybe with the washers and stuff, it'll be really cool. So we've been messing around with this thing a little bit more, and I don't know, maybe it's not perfect, because like, as you can see, you have this major movement here, and we might have to grind down um, that little, the little post here so that it's a little bit smoother, and maybe put those washers in to make it better. This is, this would be unusable, I think, for any kind of moves. I mean, well, you could catch it in the middle of the move, but that's way less than ideal. You have that kind of that much play in there. That's that's crazy. All right, I just filed this down a little bit here, and then last night I went to the hardware store and bought a couple of different rubber washers. So I'm hoping that this will help with the assembly. All right, so I'm just kind of like going through what I thought I'd need here. So I, I'm adding in some more washers. So the rubber ones to um, get the kind of the friction going and then I put these metal ones in there on the in and outsides in order to kind of just make it more stable, hopefully. All right, so I'm just tightening it up now. And hopefully this is a lot better than what we had it before. So it seems to be holding in place. Like right, if I you know pan right, it should kind of tighten it in. And then panning left was loosening it before, but I think the rubber washers really help. And let's see if I tighten this down. Nice, it's really holding in there. Oh wait, it's loose. <laughs> It's loose, damn it. Oh no, le left should tighten it. Cause it's like, whatever, like, I gotta, when I'm going like this, it should be tightened. Oh, so, yeah, that's right. Let's see if this can tighten it back in place. It's definitely more stable than before. I think we'll test it and see how it goes. This is still, I wouldn't say like amazing and brilliant and beautiful, but uh, maybe we'll test it and see if it works or if it needs any other tweaking, but we'll leave it. We'll leave it there for now and I'll keep you posted. Thanks.